Off a day, sports fans. Have you ever tried to swim in molasses or take off a sweater that is dripping wet? Well, I have, and it's not fun. Matter of fact, it's downright frustrating. Do you want to know what else is frustrating? Playing soccer in the sand. Jordan Hugo has more on this game that has many coming back for more. Get ready, Guam, because we're taking soccer to a whole new level. The Bud Beach Soccer League made its way at the GFA soccer field on Sunday as Painco Strikers took on Guam United. Though the league has been around for a while, not too many of us are familiar with playing the sport in sand. Sports Watch caught up with Julius Campos. It gives you the feel like you're at an actual beach, even though we're in an arena in Harmon. But uh, it's definitely a challenge, like, like from running on the ground and then to the beach. Uh, it takes some time to get used to, but eventually we'll get it. Adjusting to the sandy terrain was something both teams struggled with after the kickoff. The strikers used their speed and good ball movement to get off a couple of good shots. Team strikers FJ Chargalov helped his team with two goals, including this long shot. But with the current record of 4-0, it wasn't hard for Guam United to defend shots, grab a lead, and maintain it. Guam United pushed the pace and scored on demand who ended up winning the match 4-10. We caught up with the lead scorer, A.J. Poston, on their win and how he feels about the game. To be honest with you, it's a, it's a lot different than playing on grass because you can't really move the ball quickly. So uh, the aerial game is, uh, is a lot more important. So it's a lot more fun because you get to work on things like heading the ball, volleying, uh, crosses. To be honest, we don't get a lot of time to practice. So it's, it's kind of, we just discuss before the game what we try and do and then we try and execute it out on the field or in the sand. Reporting for Sports Watch, I'm Jordan Hugo. All right, let's take a look at the current standings in the Sand Soccer League. As you just saw, Guam United is on top of the leaderboard, followed by quality. And as for the strikers, well, they're trying. Keep up the good work to all the teams.